Good morning, folks. At least I hope it is. Statistically, if there's a day you're going to have health, performance, or emotional issues, it's during a Cosmic Ray health alert. Our disaster prediction app sent the alert just an hour ago. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star. No sunspots, no solar flares, and that's part of the problem. Coronal holes still have not intensified the solar wind. Purple plasma speed just on a slide down to ultra-quiet range. These have left us with 24 hours of KP0, a cosmic ray zero day. Folks with hundreds of studies tying solar flares, geomagnetic storms, proton events, and solar wind impacts with physiological and psychological effects, they are all dwarfed by the cosmic ray connections. That's because those combine many of the other effects in one, and we are electromagnetic creatures. These rays are heavy atomic nuclei. They cascade into neutron and muon blasts that could break DNA, affect cell mitosis, affect cell signaling, and more. Best fight against it is awareness and positivity. Top quake of the last day struck Chile. Only a six-pointer, but number one on the magnitude list. Typhoon slammed the Philippines and is still lingering near its west side, at least three dead in the storm as cleanup begins. Meanwhile, this is not the United States, it's Australia, where meteorological summer just began and someone forgot to tell the Southern Hemisphere. Want to give a little forecast warning for about a day from now, low in Northern Africa shifting north to affect Southern Europe, and also coming up from the near equatorial Eastern Pacific is a solid low set to deliver strong precipitation to the Southwest, about 24 hours. Let's go to the solar corona, where the mystery of the ultra high temperature in the sun's atmosphere compared to the surface might finally have an answer. They say that the magnetic waves coming from the sun which carry trees.